A small percentage of surfers in the world have a collection of boards catered to their every need. They're called professionals. And because the love and attention to detail put into a pro's board is different than yours or mine, we visited the local surf shop and bought seven boards straight off the rack. Then we sent Taj Burrow, Chippa Wilson, and Craig Anderson on a blind taste test. Welcome to Sinning is more fun in the summer. So, seven boards, seven deadly sins. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like stab in the dark, but different. <laughs> that looks so mint already. Holy shit, yeah, that feels nice. How about the angry satanic model? <laughs> what are we doing here? Well, it's not exactly complicated. Surfboards designed for subpar conditions are easier and more fun to ride, which in turn serves as extra motivation to get out on small days. Since the majority of surfers are confined to knee, to waist, to chest high waves, we've set out to find the best board for the everyday surfer. All right, try some grip on it. One thing I'm not good at is putting grip on when there's no stringer. Oh yeah. It just sure. comes out like hanging off the <laughs> rail. Yeah, the day looks pretty glorious. And I've chosen a 20 with a little stabilizer. Don't know who made it still, but uh, willing to give it a run. Even though I'm not a 20 guy, like I said. <laughs> pretty keen to give this one a little slice. held in really well. I thought it was going to be a bit more squirrely. Um, must have to do with that trailer fin. Pretty straight rail board to whatever that means. But yeah, it had a lot of drive. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be a lot looser. Feels pretty nice. I went out there trying to find rights though and all that came to me was less, of course. But uh, the rights that I did get, yeah, it feels fine. It's fun. Slice is nice and holds its speed. I can't push 20s that hard though, I don't know. It's like a, a weird technique that I don't really have, but still a fun board. I always find with 20s, it takes like a surf or two to get your foot in the right spot, your back foot. And uh, at the end of the surf, I got a couple and it felt really fun. Um, super drivey, loose, and yeah, I enjoy the day a lot. Still surfable though. But yeah, this looks like a really sick, looks like the Envy, just a really nice, Short board, clean outline. Give it a go. But you don't know what you're missing, and I couldn't give you more. more. I've been for you forevermore.
Let's examine Craig Anderson, who is praised for his laid-back, slack-knee style. In 2015, he got what Stab called the surf photo of the year, highlighting his 5'4 hipto crypto in 10 to 12 foot kanduis. However, riding monster Indonesian swells on alternative craft is more Craig's speed than taking a candle at dinner with sudden surfboards seriously. Here we find Mr. Anderson weaving through our summer experiment. Feels really good. That one's uh, the one, hey? Yeah. I think it's a hater. Is that what you're guessing? Yeah, I know my bullets, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's light, though, that's what I'm thinking. really user friendly and fun to ride it's like pretty forgiving like you can kind of stumble around and stand anywhere on the board and it'll still go through the motions so you don't have to be on the exact sweet spot you can just kind of stumble around on it and it just does whatever you want it just feels nice and it's really fast and it just glides through turns with um, quite a bit of drive and but it, it, it also turns really sharp and, and short if you need it to so kind of does what, what you want it to so far it's kind of ready to go Pretty. Oh, no tail pad. Ooh, tough for Terry. I don't know that. Done it a couple times in my life. All day jazz. Twin was like so fast. I feel like it just need to be a little bit smaller conditions and, and more manageable, and it'll be insane. It doesn't have a stabilizer in it, and normally I surf my twins with one in, but uh, this one didn't need it at all. I didn't even slide out really, so yeah, it's a good job of a good twin. High performance surfing lives in backfoot drive, which is why the majority of professional surfers ride a thruster. When you remove the center fin from beneath the back foot, it forces the boards to be ridden more from the middle as opposed to locked in a place on the tail pad. Because of this, 20s tend to speed through the flat section of the wave, have a noticeable down the line drive, and work well in insufficient surf. However, taking them from 6 to midnight proves more difficult.
like a right hand point break like a longer wave but yeah I don't, I don't know it's good back in it read yet pretty funky looking fish heaps of volume up the nose Taj and uh, Chip has surfed it said it goes really fun try and make it work Um, but when you get up on it, it's actually sick. Like it really, it works. I guess it's a epoxy DH. It's got a really good flex to it. I don't know, it reminded me of a psychedelic germ that I like riding that Hayden makes. Felt uh, really easy to paddle, really easy to surf, forgiving. Just rode really well. Fun, hey. Yeah. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this little guy a go. And apparently it's a number one. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about it. Try to go surf. <laughs> Did you get any? Not really. Oh, I had some fun actually. Yeah. This board goes really good. Yeah, 
it goes it does everything pretty much perfect it feels really good slight little hang-ups every now and then but really minor pretty sick board so here we are we have seven surfboards and only one rose after a two-thirds vote from our three surfers a winner for the best all-around board was given the pedal of approval i'd probably go to envy for a rounder for sure just as the free fin, I'd get rid of those two boxes in the side. I feel like they just stiffen up the board and don't let it flex as much as it should. Most boards you've got to get a wave or two to get used to, and this one you just jump on. Felt like jumping on a skatey again, you know? Uh, I'd take the gluttony. Just, um, I'd want to take a Pride or an Envy because they're just kind of nice short boards, but the Gluttony's got a kind of a fun little spin on it. It's kind of sits just under, I don't know, between a shortboard and a, a fish. It's kind of had all the elements of a, a fun board. Quite a fitting name because any time anyone was on this, all the other boys were quite envious because I think this one was um, probably the funnest to ride, in my opinion. It just did everything, good all rounder, and it actually felt sick. Asked about the Envy. The Envy is... HS. A chili. Ooh. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow! Yeah, James. <laughs> yes, James. Well done. It's a great board. Hey, does my butt really look that weird? <laughs> no. That's just a weird angle, bro. <laughs> There's not much to it. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I think I just got the shot again. The ass shot. <laughs> Look at it, do it again, show, show Chip. When I suck it in, it goes all weird. Look when he sucks it in. <laughs> <laughs> Big old booty, huh? <laughs> 